can see we got the hood off the Jeep Cherokee and we're gonna make our own cow hood. First step you need to do, you need to learn how to find center of, of something. If you don't know how to do that, you need to look up a video, but you need to find the center of your hood on this, the back side and on the front. And a lot of people measure out measure out from the center 13 inches. I went ahead and measured out thir or 14 from the center of the hood, which is right here on the back and on the front on both sides. Okay. Then you want to take some painter's tape and go ahead and get it straight as possible to line up with this one down here on both sides. After you do that, you run another piece of tape and you come out here and I made this exactly two inches apart on both sides. And I did some measuring down through here to make sure it's all the same on both sides. That way it's all even when I go to cut it. Let's take a grinder and go across here. But this is what it looks like when you cut it. Both sides cut. You have to take a grinder and come across here and cut this seam off. Um, as you can see, it comes off. And kind of start loosening it up, flip it upside down on the ground, and take all the bonding material that's on the bracing that holds the sheet metal. There's going to be stuff that bonds the sheet metal to the bracing. Gonna have to take a screwdriver and a hammer and just prop it loose. I just barely tapped on it once you don't uh, ding up the hood. But as you can see, if you leave it out in the sun for a while like I did, it tends to come off actually pretty easy. A round bar in there, three inch round piece of bar. A lot of people use a two by four. You can use what you want, but you wanna get your angle and then take your round stock that we got cut it to length make sure it's the same size how you want it when you weld this side and that side you want to tack them on and it's pretty self-explanatory actually from there clean up your metal and uh, go from there start up here welding our pins in and that way we can get that bar out of there as you can see I welded in little rods across the front and the back um, I welded these a little bit close because I'm going to be putting screen there because you won't see it when we're done because we've got to put metal here. This is just for support all the way across. So I put them in there. I'm going to put some down in there. And then by the time I weld this, it's actually pretty solid now. But I tacked these in right here. I left a little bit of overhang because I'm going to put uh, some screen in there, some mesh, make it look good. But uh, this stuff is really, really thin. So you have to be careful that you don't burn through your hood. Test fitting what I need to do, cut out. Um, I cut a little too much off right there. That's basically what we're gonna be left with. A little bit better than that, you know what I mean? But this is just a, a rough mock-up. I think it's gonna look uh, pretty decent. Basically what we're going to do now is just cut out the sheet metal, weld it all in, bond to it, put my, uh, put my screen, my mesh here, paint it, and then we'll be ready to throw it back on the Jeep. Alright, so we have a rough cut out of what it is. I'm using an old hood that I had to make this all work. I recommend buying new sheet metal. This is what's going to take the longest because you can't just burn and go. This is very thin uh, sheet metal. <laughs> you got to take your time welding it and bending it around and all that good stuff. So as you can see, I got a rough cutout. Um, we just got to shave some off of it, get the fit proper. But this is what it's going to look like when the hood's done. I'm going to go ahead and weld all this together and uh, probably skip to the bondo part because you got to bondo this stuff and then paint it. So this is what a rough cutout would look like. Um, just take your time, you'll get it, and it's no big deal. I am not a body man whatsoever, okay? 
So I got it all tacked, I got it all welded in. Um, this is my first layer and I'm starting to sand it and it's starting to turn out really, really good. So I'm gonna feather all this in, make sure my you know, corners are nice and round, make sure everything's nice and smooth. After that, it'll be good to prime and then I'm gonna sand the rest of the hood down and actually paint it flat black. It's an old trick we used to do back in the day to keep the sun from glaring on the hood. So just uh, take your time, put some work into it, and I promise you it'll look good. This may look a little rough now, um, but I'm gonna probably finish this up and then cut to the finished product because all I did was weld it in and now I'm just bonding it in um, and feathering it all in to get the imperfections out of it. So it's pretty self-explanatory. If you ever replace patch panels, this is basically the same thing. You'll see the finished product right now. Tell you what, it doesn't look too bad in here. And I can tell you one thing, the temperature is staying a little bit cooler. It usually rides about 210, no matter the temperature outside. So I think it might help a little bit.